I at last have reached my goal. And I've solved the mystery of my soul. I am that to which I pray, that to which I look for aid. I am that which I did seek. I am my own mountain peak. When I want, I do but see vision. My wish is coming forth from me. For I'm the knower and the known, the ruler, the subject, and the throne. The three in one is what I am, but hell itself, it's just my dam that I did put in my own stream. In a nightmare that I did dream, that I was not the only one, and thus by me my pain begun, which ran its course till I awoke, and I found with me that I did joke. So now I stand here wide awake. I, my throne, do wisely take. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, I'm not done, I'm not done, I'm not done. And rule my kingdom, which is me, a master through eternity. Are the laws of consciousness, and I need you to write down laws of consciousness. In order to make your life easy, you have to learn the foundational, fundamental law of the universe. There are two laws wrapped up in one. The first law is, as you think in your heart, so shall you be. Be the female aspect of the law, as you hear, so shall you think. What's up, everybody? It's Blue, back in beautiful Miami, Florida. And you know me, I'm here to shift you from self-limited to unlimited so that you can recognize your ultimate power to live the life of your dream easier than you could ever imagine. So we're down here at our retreat, and this is what I want for you, seriously. I want you to start thinking that the world is yours, that yachts are yours, if that's what you want, that a place like this where we're staying is, if that's what you want, that can be for you. This is the whole purpose of this retreat, is to program our minds for success. And that's what I want for you, all right? So we're down here in Miami. Next retreat, I wanna see you here. Because you guys remind me of the power of choice. A lot of us met our spouses or you will meet your spouse in college. Our love life forever changed, hopefully for the better, because of that one choice. I like saying it like this, you're not born a winner, you're not born a loser, but you are born a chooser. You ever feel like you're doing the right thing but the wrong thing keeps happening? That's exactly how I felt. So one day, Carl was at Walmart. And Carl was at the checkout counter at Walmart. Carl pulls out his debit card. He swipes his card to pay for his stuff. And the card was declined. That wasn't the problem. The problem is what the cashier lady said to him. The cashier lady looks at Carl right in the eyes and she says, you can't afford this stuff, can you? Mm, mm, mm. You don't say that to a six foot five, 340 pound man that'll snap. Okay, so Carl had some options here. Carl could have chosen to walk away from the situation. That would have been fine. Carl could have chosen to look at the lady back in her eyes and say, hold on, lady, don't disrespect me like that. That would have been fine, too. Well, Carl doesn't do either one of those two things. So, uh, you know the checkout, uh, the candy section that's beside the checkout counter in most grocery stores? Carl, with all of his six foot five and 340 pound glory, chooses to bend over. He grabs the entire section. He picks it up and he throws it at the lady. I mean, she's getting hit with Kit Kats and Snickers and Skittles. I mean, she tasted the rainbow, okay? <laughs> so, but more importantly, those little positive choices led me right here to remind you that if you're going through something and you feel like you're doing the right thing and the wrong thing keeps happening, that you have the power of choice. Why? Because you're not born a winner. You're not born a loser but you're born a chooser. Thank you very much, that's my time. <laughs>